A consumer advocacy group is calling for a congressional investigation into what it says is Google's cozy relationship with the federal government, specifically the Obama administration. At issue is Google's use of Moffett Field, owned and operated by NASA, which is just a few miles away from Google headquarters in Mountain View. ABC 7's Vic Lee is in the newsroom with the story. Vic. Carolyn, this is the report which Consumer Watchdog sent to the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. The group says Google has what it calls a secret relationship with NASA and questionable deals with several other government agencies. Consumer Watchdog says the most visible sign of Google's clout with Washington is Moffett Field. That has become Google's private airport. It's jets flying executives to junkets and vacations in the Caribbean and to the Cannes Film Festival. Jamie Cord is president of Consumer Watchdog. We have 40 Google executives with access, six jets, two helicopters, and we have flight records that show uh, Google executives like Eric Schmidt are using the jets to go to Cannes Film Festival where they're partying with Mick Jagger and uh, Glenn Close. According to federal records, Google is paying about $120,000 a month to house its aircraft. But Consumer Watchdog questions whether the company's also getting a deal on its rent, as well as jet fuel. They may be paying uh, rent. We don't know if it's market rate rent or not. We do know they are getting a government fuel. We don't know how that fuel compares to the jet fuel uh, at a private airport. The group also wants Congress to investigate Google contracts with several other government agencies where its services are used. Google has gotten no-bid contracts because it's gained so much influence in Washington. Google responded with this statement. This is just the latest in a long list of press stunts from an organization that admits to working closely with our competitors. Consumer Watchdog has been a longtime critic of Google, which it says is consistently violating online privacy rights. We see that Google's influence is growing in the federal government in very troubling ways, opening up potentially uh, our private data uh, to the world. Google has said previously that its jets carry instruments that provide atmospheric data to NASA. However, Consumer Watchdog says NASA documents reveal little research has been carried out on those planes. Vic Lee, ABC 7 News. All right, Vic. Now, still on Google, the company told the government today it has awarded $100 million in extra stock and stock options to Chief Executive Eric Schmidt. He's stepping aside as Google's chief executive, but will stay on as executive chairman. Schmidt has led the company for 10 years, and one analyst says the magnitude of the award is a signal to stockholders that Schmidt will continue to steer the ship after co-founder Larry Page takes over as CEO.